hi guys and welcome back to another video in this video i'm going to show you how i detangle my son's hair um this was my attempt on iverson braids this style was up for about three and a half weeks and here we go this is him at about i believe seven months this is our previous breakage all right so starting this process i saturate his hair with water um this is just a water bottle i bought from walmart i put bottled water in it and i'm just going through and wetting the hair this is a bowl of aloe vera that i watched and cut um aloe vera has a mucus like texture i'm just going to saturate his hair over the twist i do not braid his hair these are flat two strand twists that you see me um currently coating his hair in the aloe vera that has a nice slip to it and it's going to give me a easier um time when it comes to detangling his hair like i said previously these styles last him anywhere from three weeks to almost a month Look at my baby's face, y'all. He loves the camera so much. <laughs> and again, you see me going through with the aloe vera. I um, just rubbing it through his hair, his scalp. And now going through um, the back of his head. The nape area is where Scion's hair is the most coily and the curls are the tightest so in these next um few seconds here you guys are going to see me detangle um some of what looks like a dread but is now a two strand twist that has been in his hair for a good amount of time i do not um really comb through his hair i like to detangle and style his hair with you by using a rat tooth comb um and my fingers to pick through each section and detangle um, it's important that you keep the hair wet as much as possible it um, allows the strands to be more pliable and I'm just working through each hair strand um, I did speed this video up for you guys but this is some um, somewhat of what takes up a lot of the time when styling um, a child's hair that is of this texture um here you see me guiding the aloe vera through his hair strands once i have it detangled it has a great amount of slip and i just take my time finger shingling his hair detangling to make sure that i am gentle and i get his hair um, completely detangled and out of those twists um, i go back and forth between the comb and my fingers adding water where i need it to make the process as easy as possible i've been doing his hair since he was born i've never um, really used baby products on him i like to use natural products and from what i see it's helping his growth um, he doesn't have a problem sitting um, and getting his hair done normally i sit him in a little chair and i play a movie and give him a snack or two and he sits um, through the process again the detangling process it's important to be as gentle as possible when working with your children's hair working from the ends to the root make sure you guys are being especially genuine genuous and gentle when working with the ends because we want to be able to retain the length and the hair strands with no breakage and this is the easiest texture to break so you see those shingles in the hair and that's the section that i worked with and this is all the hair that came out of the comb and that he lost again i'm going in with the aloe vera just going through the strands making sure everything is coated and is getting the proper moisture and hydration it needs um, while i focus on taking down the rest of his hair 
um, as I do this, I make sure I detangle each section and um, hydrate each section. And I'm going to put it in a two strand twist and keep it like that until I finish the process. Learning Scion's head, I can tell you that the right side of his hair um, texture is more coily and tight compared to the left side. his hair texture is fine and what i mean by this is if you think about bundles or purchasing a unit traditionally they come in like a 180 um density so his natural density would be 125 compared to the average um hair texture and you want to work these products from the roots to the ends making sure that um, you can hydrate and condition your child's hair strand all the way through, especially those ends. You have to remember to give the ends as much TLC as possible. This is one of my favorite brands by Shea Moisture. Now that I'm looking at it, this should be the deep hair mask instead of the leave-in conditioner. I'm just not reading that. But this is me working the product into his hair, specifically getting his scalp and his ends. I have detangled his whole head and everything has been saturated with that um, aloe vera. And now I'm just working each section back with this um, Shea Moisture Mafuka Honey product. And this is going to be like a hair mask for him. Traditionally it would be. I just... Uh, read the packaging and seen that I picked up the wrong product so this one has a tingling like sensation that's not too much for um, toddlers and also brings a very good hydration to the hair and I'm just gonna go through each section working this in I'm gonna let this sit for about an hour um, while he runs around and plays and then I'll be back to uh, rinse this out. I try to rinse each section out bit by bit while I detangle. Um, rinsing the hair is the, the toughest part for us. Um, Scion absolutely hates people touching his ears and he hates the water running down his face. So I would say out of the whole process, this would be the absolute worst. Um, I try to lean his head back with my hand, that way the water doesn't run down on his face, but this is absolutely the worst part of the process. You can see how fine his hair is. It goes up smoothly in a ponytail while wet, and this is the finished product. Now that we have clean hair, I'm just spraying it down with more water just to make sure it's nice and wet as I go in and begin to prep for the style. Um, again, I try not to comb through his hair. I use my fingers to detangle. This is another product that I absolutely love by Urban Hydration. I use a little bit of that just to lock in the moisture um, in his hair, making sure I get those ends and um, this is just a quick example of me partying, prepping for this style. You guys will later on see at the end of the video. I choose not to use any waxes or edge controls or any of that in his hair when um, doing his hair. And here you see, it's a cute, relaxed style. There's a few rubber bands in there um, that I use. And this is what we got. This style is relaxed. The hair is not under a bunch of tension or stress. And it's hydrated, moist, and healthy. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please see the description bar for the products I use below.